Hello guys, so if you're looking which is a better automation tool, Zapier or Intragomat, which is also now known as Make. So if you're looking which one is the better one out of the both of them, if that's the case, you have come to the right place. Because today in this video, I'm going to show you a few categories by which you can decide which one is better for you. Now, the first category, Interface. As you can see, I have created a small trigger in Zapier and in Zapier, the interface is top down, meaning it's vertical. It goes from the top to the very bottom by creating triggers and actions. So as you can see, I have set a trigger over here. The event is YouTube and in YouTube, the event will be uploading a new video in the playlist. Then I chose account, then trigger. Then I set up the trigger, which is the account playlist ID. Then if you want to test the trigger, you can do it. Then move on to the trigger. Now the trigger was when I will upload a video onto the channel and the video is added to the playlist. There will be a Google row created in a Google sheet document over here. As you can see the row. So this is the row that I created. Now, as you can see, I chose a row, chose an account, uh, set up the action, upload sheet, the name of the video, duration, time of upload and link, which you can see over here, including all the headers. Now, lastly, the action, the action that you take by creating action, you can test the trigger. So if I click on restart action, then there should be a new action onto the Google Sheets. So as you can see over here, a new row has been created. So that's the action for the Google Sheets. Now, after it's done on Google Sheet, I have another trigger, which is send a message in Discord. So as you can see, Discord is selected. So it will send a message into this server. And in this server, in the general tab, what there will be in the message, it will be new video uploaded, the name of the video and the video URL. Then few actionable roles, then the bot icon and the bot name, and then click continue. And then in the end, you can test your trigger. So let me open Discord first. So as you can see, this is how it will look. So let me again do the trigger and click on restart action. Then give it a few seconds and there you have it. The new message just arrived. So that's how you can do it in Zapier. Now let's talk about Intergomart or Make, whatever you may call it. So in Make, what you have is a horizontal way of looking. Things. So as you can see, I have a scenario over here. The scenario is Google Sheet. So if a row is added into a Google Sheet, it will send a message to Discord. Then after the message is sent to the Discord, then when the message is sent in the Discord, it will send an email to a sender that I have listed over here. And when the email has been sent to the recipient, the next action is send a message in a group chat in WhatsApp. So this is how Intergomart works. Where Zapier is vertical, Intergomart is horizontal. So now, example, if you have a very small step basis task, like over here, as you can see, a YouTube video, then a Google Sheet, then a Discord server message. So if it is this small, Zapier is the best way to go because it is much more easier and you can do manual things without inputs. But in other hand, Intergomart or Make have a visual scripting base over here, as you can see. You can list horizontally and it is like a mind map. So if it is a very big and a complex task or action, you can do it over here and it will be just fine. Now the second category, the second category is price. So as you may already know, Zapier prices are triple the amount of Intercomart. So as you can see, this is the plan for Zapier. And if we go to Intercomart, this is the price for them. And there's a huge difference for both of them. So as you can see, the highest over here is currently the team and which is just $29. So if you go to Zapier, it is $399, which is quite a lot. So this was the second category. And the third category is applications. Now, now in applications, Intercomart only has about 1000 applications. And on the other hand, Zapier has a total of 3000 applications. And that means Zapier has most of the applications that are required for doing any type of automation. And on the other hand, Intercomart doesn't have that many applications. So for example, Intercomart doesn't even have YouTube. Let me show you. So as you can see, Intercomart doesn't even have YouTube. So that's the only limitation over here in Intercomart that it has a very limited amount of apps. So now it's up to you which one you think is the better option for you. But in my opinion, I will just simply go with Zapier. So that's it. And thank you for watching. And do like and subscribe to my channel. And take care.